Hey yo control freaks, what's up? I hope you're doing well. In this video today, I'm going to show you my five most beloved tools I use when I work with CliffX Pro. The links to all the software is down in the description, so let's get going. My name is Schlappe and let's talk about CliffX Pro. The first tool I want to share you is by a user in of the forum called Chainsaw Art, aka Jason. This is a little Max for Life device. It has one button which you can map to a MIDI controller, or I have it personally mapped to a keystroke. Shift X. So when I press Shift X, a a window pops up, it's pretty much like a terminal window for CliffX. So there you have a prompt and you can type in any CliffX Pro command you like, press enter and it gets triggered instantly. So that is super useful for testing scenarios where you want to test out an action very quickly. It almost becomes second nature, shift X, type in your command and you see if it works or not. It has only two downsides. First, you can't copy and paste, so the keystrokes command C and command V won't work. And if you're working on a longer action list, it's a little bit small and difficult to navigate around. But Jason made another device called Action List Viewer. The same principle, you have a Max for Life device with a button you can map to anything and a bigger text window pops up where you can copy and paste perfect for working on a macro for example and there you can navigate easily around with your cursor change things press enter see if it works and so on so hail to the great creator of these two devices jason thank you very much The second tool I'd like to talk about is Protocol by Hexler, the same company which also makes Touch OSC. Um, so Protocol monitors MIDI and OSC messages going in and out of your system. And that is very useful when you work, for example, with X controls, G controls, or OSC. Those aspects are super powerful features of CliffX Pro and Protocol will help you monitor and save a lot of time to figure out what's going on. I showed how I'm working with Protocol in my X control tutorial video, which is probably linked here when it's available. This software is free and it works on all platforms, including Android and iOS. So what more could you possibly ask for? It became an essential part of my workflow. The third tool I'd like to show you are text editors with syntax highlighting. In CliffX Pro, there are some text files you have to edit. When it comes to longer files like macros, it helps a great deal when this code is somewhat structured visually. There are editors which analyze your text file and will give you a visual highlighted syntax which helped me a great deal to find mistakes. It will convert your plain text file looking from this to this. So to do this, I can highly recommend Visual Studio Code from Microsoft. It is by far the best value for the money, not only because it's free, no, it is super packed with features and there is a huge library of extensions. If you approach user actions, which is the most powerful aspect of CliffX Pro and probably also the hardest to get into, it is vital to have a great assistant like Visual Studio Code. For example, there's a feature called IntelliSense, which does read your code and give you suggestions and auto-completion, which is super convenient. It also has Git and GitHub integrated, but we will talk about this later. Just to be complete, I personally use Nova from Panic Software. It's beautifully designed, but it's quite pricey. I bought it a while ago, but I do not regret it. I switched over to Visual Studio Code for most of my work, but for text editing, I still use Nova because it just looks gorgeous. When working with CliffX and something doesn't work, it can be very enlightening to have a look at Ableton's log file. Similar to CliffX text files, it is not easy to read and some sort of highlighting viewer is super helpful. And this kind of application is called Log File Viewer. Compared to the text editors we just had a look at, it works a little bit different. You define the keywords yourself, which will be then highlighted. For example, if you define CliffX, all lines containing CliffX will be highlighted and the others will be grayed out. I can recommend the keywords CliffX, Remote Scripts, Arrow and User Actions. The readability of your log file will change from this to this. 
Last but not least, let's talk about backups. Imagine you would have a backup system for working on your CliffX setup that tracks all your changes where you could make snapshots so you would always have a fallback setup. How would it be when you could add alternative features while keeping your main setup intact and after testing, make it the new main setup? How about a cloud storing system and being set up and ready to go for collaboration with others for free? Does that sound good? Well, that is Git. It is used by most programmers in massive projects all over the world. It is free, open source, and even better, it is well integrated in Visual Studio Code. I would say you would have to invest about two hours to install and get familiar with it, but trust me, it is well worth it. And with GitHub as a cloud storing site, you won't have any headaches about losing a working system anymore. Here is a link to a video which explains what Git is in two minutes, and you will find tons of tutorials how to install and working with Git. Hey Cliff! Hello! Would you mind taking us out today? Yeah, sure, no problem! That wraps it up for today's video. I hope it will help you on your journey with CliffX Pro. Please like and subscribe, it will help us to grow this channel. If you are interested in more exclusive material, head over to our Patreon. There will be more detailed videos, one-on-one -on -one coaching, Q&As, monthly hangouts with other CliffX Pro users, our user actions, and you will find all links down in the description. Until then, stay, stay well, stay healthy, and, and always stay, stay in, in control. control.